Welcome, explorers of the human mind and social dynamics. Today, we're delving into a captivating phenomenon, the cheerleader effect. Ever noticed how people in a group seem more attractive than when they're alone? There's more to this than meets the eye. Let's start with a journey into our brains. Imagine looking at a group of people. Our brain, the clever organ that it is, doesn't just see faces, it computes them. It averages out the features of the group members, softening less attractive aspects and enhancing appeal. This isn't a simple trick. It's a complex cognitive process that reveals how our minds perceive beauty and balance. But why does this happen? The answer lies in our evolutionary past. Our ancestors thrived in groups, and those who were part of a tribe were more likely to survive. So, when we see individuals in a group today, our deep-seated instincts hint at health, strength, and social status. It's not just about physical appearance, it's an echo of our survival strategy. Now, consider the aesthetic angle. A group offers a mosaic of features, each adding to a collective beauty. This diversity creates a visual harmony much like a well-composed photograph. Each person contributes to this aesthetic equilibrium, making the group more attractive as a whole. Yet, there are voices of dissent. Some argue that the cheerleader effect might not be as influential as we think. They suggest that individual charisma and personality might outshine any group-based enhancement. This debate adds depth to our understanding, reminding us of the myriad factors that shape our perception of attractiveness. In the real world, this effect has far-reaching implications. In marketing, advertisers leverage this phenomenon to create more appealing campaigns. On social media, we see it in the popularity of group selfies. Understanding the cheerleader effect can offer insights into how we form judgments and make decisions based on group dynamics. In conclusion, the cheerleader effect is more than a quirk of perception. It's a window into the human psyche. It intertwines psychology, evolution, and aesthetics, shaping how we see and interact with each other. As we unravel more about this phenomenon, we not only learn about human perception but also about the intricate tapestry of social interaction. 